Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching another video. Today we're going to be having a closer look at the CJRB Gobi. Hmm. And as always, if you feel like purchasing a Gobi at the ending of this video, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Alright, let's get you some size comparisons here. There is a Sharpie. Well within the size of a Sharpie. Tilt it up that way. Ah, it's just a great size. Alright, blade open. This is a slim knife. I love the way that the handle goes opposite of how the blade is upswept. It's just really beautifully done. Tilt this sideways here. Ah, I can see just the curvature. And it's going to place this back down here. And yeah, just to give you an idea of how big the blade is, there is the pen cap. Okay. Now let me get the uh, ruler in here. Alright, so you figure... Yeah, it's about right. There's 8 inches. Maybe about an inch and a quarter. Right, maybe about an inch and a quarter. About there. Closed up. Yeah. Flip it over this way. Uh, closed up just about five inches. All right, bring in the old chopstick. That's the smaller side, and this is the thicker side. Gonna flip it over and see just how thick this is. Definitely slimmer than a pair of chopsticks on the thicker side. And a little bit bigger than the thinner side. That's a really slim knife. It's going to disappear in your pocket. Flip it over that way. Give you a size reference here. Beautiful G10 scales. Look at that. Have a closer look at that later. Uh, this way here. Let's measure it here. Probably to the thickest point. Man, that's just a little bit... I'm going to call that one inch thick that way. It's beautiful. This thing. Man, it really feels nice in the hand too. All right, let's have a look at the thickness of the spine here. That's probably going to be a typical thickness, about two quarters thick. And it gets down to a pretty fine point. Uh, that point probably more realistically, mm, maybe like a dime. Yeah, just about a dime. All right, let's see how close the Gobi is to the weight of a deck of cards. 3.4 ounces, because I really think that's a reasonable weight there, a deck of cards to compare it to. Hey, look at that. 3.5 ounces, just a squash heavier than a deck of cards. It's going to be perfect in the pocket. All right, up front we have this beautiful black PVD coating sitting on an upswept or trailing point blade profile. Nice flat grind on here, so it's going to be very easy to sharpen. Good slicer with that belly. Look at that. Beautifully done. And this is using Artisan's new powdered steel, AR RPM9. This is a budget powdered steel. So again, it's supposed to be a lot easier to maintain than D2 tool steel. Uh, good edge retention, and there's more chromium in here, so it's going to be a lot more corrosion resistant. And let me flip this over to show you that this is a liner lock. All right, let's have a close look at these beautiful G10 handles. Now, it's available in a lot of different colors, but I think this color combination is pretty sinister. I love the lines on here. Look at that. Handle's going to be a little bit higher, so it's going to be excellent for slicing. Beautiful lines. Look at the texturing of the G10. All right, and the scales are not flat. It's a little bit more rounded here, so it really fits nicely in the hand. You have a finger groove up here right in the front also makes it easier to get to the the locking mechanism for the liner lock you can see down in here skeletonized lining those little circles down there in the front or on this side beautiful red aluminum backspacer that has a lanyard hole in here yeah look at that also the matching accent up here at the pivot Torque screws, so if you want to take it down and service it, clean it and lubricate. The ceramic bearings in the front, 
you can do that. Speaking of which, this thing is ultra smooth. Flies open. Man, that is beautiful. Love the way that looks. Decent deep carry pocket clip. Also reversible. Tip-up carry. Just well done. So comfortable in the hand. Oh, beautifully done. Sharpening choil here in the front. So you can get all the way down there. Sharpen to the base of the blade. But just look at that. That is one slick looking knife. Once again, guys, that is the CJRB Gobi. If you're looking for a budget slicer, I mean, just look at that thing. Upswept trailing point blade design. Beautiful G10 handle design. If you want to pick up this color combination, make sure you check out the link in the description below. But also remember, they come in a bunch of other different combinations as well. Guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.